Gold Hill Dam Removal Project is a great example of the kind of cooperation that's needed to help solve big problems in Southwest Oregon. For years, the dam was diverting flow out of the Rogue River and keeping fish from going upstream and downstream. And also, the city was inadvertently uh, withdrawing more than their water right from the river. And so, after the city was informed that uh, they really had to had to notch down their withdrawals and, and uh, regulatory agencies said that they needed to make sure that fish had, had better chances of passing the dam. The city said, you know, we would love to take the dam out, but we have our protected water supply and we also need funding to be able to do this. We're a poor city of a thousand people and don't have the resources to do it. So Rogue Valley Council of Governments worked with the city and with the regulatory agencies and a variety of, of groups all throughout the region to identify and obtain funding to move the city's water supply intake upstream and also to have the dam and the other appurtenances around the dam removed and the area restored to a natural condition. This is a great project for the city of Gold Hill, for the, uh, the Rogue River, and for all the citizens of Southwest Oregon. First off, just want to welcome everyone here and uh, give, hand the microphone over to Gus Wolf. Thank you, Craig. Thanks, everybody. Uh, we really appreciate you coming out today. I uh, just wanted to say thanks on behalf of Gold Hill for everybody that's involved in this project. We, uh, we couldn't have pulled this out with all the help we've got, uh, start with RV Cog and everybody else that's, uh, that you'll meet down the road here. We just wanted to say, again, thanks a lot, and uh, appreciate your input and your time and your money. Uh, last time I gave a speech, I, I asked my wife after I was done, I said, well, what did you think of it? She said, well, I like parts of it. And I said, well, which parts did you like? She said, well, it's the parts where you could have quit, so I'll keep this short. And uh, we're also working on the Savage Rapids Dam. And, and I hope all of you have your cameras tuned in over there because if somebody gets sucked through that hole, it's going to be a really interesting picture to watch. And so I've been kind of paying attention to that. Um, anyway, this is like a dream come true for me, a, a golden opportunity. Start the uh, pumping plant. And credit for that also goes to Senator Wyden and Senator Smith. Actually, all the credit goes to them because we had it in the House bill the funding and it didn't make it and so it passed in the Senate omnibus bill. So I'd like to introduce Molly Skundrick from Senator Wyden's office and Esther Kennedy from Senator Smith's office. And in almost everything in Southern Oregon, the congressman and the two senators work as a team and so this was definitely a team effort. Um, Bob Long will be speaking to you today and I really couldn't have out there in the orange vests swimming across you know, and with those big pulleys and stuff trying to work it out. And it looks real low tech, but if you, which is kind of funny, if you saw it last week when they're on the other side of the river, they had some huge equipment out there working and, and uh, breaking up the dam and pulling it out. Marine Fisheries Service. And uh, as you mentioned, we're grateful for them to sealing the deal with their Open Rivers Initiative grant. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, John. Um, the words are very kind. I only wish I could live up to them as faithfully as the congressman uh, um, praises me for. I wanted to thank, uh, start with a different premise today. Uh, our work at NOAA Fisheries is very much about conservation. And from a theoretical point of view, we have a relatively good idea about what fish need and in terms achieve it. I can assure you that this removal will make a significant difference for the runs on the Rogue River. Our theory of salmon restoration is basically the theory of hotel op operation. We want suitable habitat, good places for them to stay, uh, ready rooms for them to check in, and when the ocean provides, as it will, uh, we're confident that we'll see the, the rebound in the run. So 
we see a great future here. But achieving that future is a challenge that goes way beyond knowing what ought to be done. Grum, the elder of the Takama tribe, which lived here for the last, oh, 10,000 years. She says 22,000. I'm not going to argue with her, but who knows? Anyway, this site here was originally known as Tillamik. There was a village on both sides, 20 long houses on the far side, six on this side. It was a really powerful spot to the Native Americans because the falls right below here stopped the fish. It was a great fishing spot. They had the largest salmon ceremony in Southern Oregon right here that drew people for 100 miles. I'm not gonna take my sunglasses off because I'm not used to such a, a bright, uh, cloudless sky. So it's just wonderful to be here. And I really, uh, I want to, uh, acknowledge all the hard work that folks have done here uh, to, to put this project into reality. Um, it's, a, it's a really an event worth celebrating, very much so. I do want to spend just one quick minute talking about the Oregon Watershed Enhancement Board. It, I think it's the best agency, state agency, you've probably never heard of, and uh, we're very unique. We're These uh, trophies or little mementos, actually chunks of the dam, that say Gold Hill Dam removal, summer 2008. So please come by the blue blazer down there and I'll, I'll give you one of these. So um, anyway, thank you all for coming today. It's a beautiful day and it's a wonderful event. Thanks a lot.